a state-of-the-art track and field facility nestled in the heart of West Louisville in a zip code often forgotten. We have to go to Ohio. We have to go to West Virginia. For William Underwood, who has dedicated four decades to coaching the kids that live here, it's well beyond anything he could have imagined. We never even dreamed that anything like that would happen. And so when Sadiqwa came up with this idea, we were on board saying, hey, we got some place to practice now. Sadiqwa Reynolds, the president of the Louisville Urban League, was the driving force behind the project, the final piece of a $53 million facility that includes the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center, completed in spite of a pandemic that slowed the world. I heard God say go, but I did not hear stop. And thanks in part to donations from David Jones Jr. and his wife and Humana, the outdoor track was unveiled Friday. Oh, well done. It means so much to me. It is really and uh, sincerely the pleasure of my life to be able to do this in this community for um, kids who deserve it so much. While this track was laid just days ago, already there's an event on the books for Tuesday. A meet expected to draw several hundred. The first of many that Reynolds promises will have a big impact on the local economy. They spend the night, they spend their money, they can come in and use our bowling alley. So in so many ways, this project is bigger. This really is an economic development engine for this part of the West End and for our entire city. But for this coach, it's just a place where the kids on West Side Track Club can thrive. It gives the kids the idea that, look, I can be successful. And this community cares because they put this track out here for me to run, to run on. Lauren Adams, WLKY News.